welcome Mahish Tiagrajan. Good morning, everybody. We're in the midst of unprecedented technological change, but let's talk a little bit about the state of security. Can you advance the slide, please? Nations are becoming more sovereign. There's a lot of regulations in every industry vertical that we are aware of. Advance the slide, please. GDPR violations are still unchecked. There's a lot of fines that are being levied on all of the enterprise companies that make mistakes around data privacy and data protection. Encryption helps, but if you lose access to the master, all bets are off. We're seeing a lot of examples of this in the industry today. Generative AI is evolving and is moving really, really fast. It can help, but there's also a lot of concerns about it can, how it can hurt but has the complexity that you face as a customer changed or evolved? At Oracle, we believe our approach to cloud security and making it easy for you to protect your workloads is unique and differentiator and makes it easy for you to be safe and secure. Let's talk a little bit about what does this approach mean. At Oracle, every product that we build, we have a fundamental few tenets that we abide by that ensures that we're giving you the best technology possible. The first is about making sure cloud security is simple and effortless. How do we make that possible? We do that by building technology that is, brings the decades of practice that Oracle has with protecting your mission critical data and bringing those services and capabilities with prescriptive nature. In many cases, genuine cloud security tries to give you too many knobs and the knobs that makes it easy for you to fail. At Oracle, we believe Either we shouldn't give you the knob that makes it easy for you to get it wrong, or the knob should always be tuned to the most secure option that ensures you cannot accidentally make mistakes. Second, the cloud landscape and the migration to the cloud is evolving constantly. Customers are using infrastructure. Customers are using SaaS. We have multi-cloud advancements happening. You have a plethora of choices in terms of how you do security today in your on-prem environment. We believe security should be deeply integrated. You shouldn't have to move to the cloud by compromising your security posture. So a deeply integrated experience matters. And lastly, it's about getting complete control. If you take a look back at any industry, if it has been around with advancements for over 10 years, you've generally seen a significant adoption. But cloud adoption still remains at 30%. Why? And we fundamentally believe it is the lack of control and choice that the industry hasn't offered to customers to meet the various regulation, regulation, regulatory standards. And with that, we believe in products that actually give you the complete control. And we'll talk a little bit more in detail, but fundamentally it's around how we do infrastructure and how we do software security. Today, Oracle Cloud already offers you a full stack of cybersecurity capabilities. A lot of them are listed here. But I want to talk about our approach to cloud security. When we started building our Gen 2 Cloud, we wanted to make security foundational and built in into everything that we do and not bolted on. We had to fundamentally think about our network architecture, our network security, and isolation primitives from the get-go to ensure your workloads are the safest in our cloud. We were the first cloud to introduce off-box virtualization and offer that as bare metal servers in the cloud. We had to build automation and plethora of security services to protect ourselves and your workloads on the cloud. And all of these security services that, were, that are listed here and offered are capabilities that is battle tested by OCI today for protecting itself. And not only that, we make all of these services available everywhere throughout our distributed cloud. Today, we operate over 45 public commercial regions with all of these capabilities. We also offer separate and isolated government regions and sovereign clouds. We also bring our Oracle database integrated with multi-cloud. If you've heard about Oracle database for Azure at Larry's keynote, we bring those technologies available in our commercial regions. 
And for customers who are looking to get our best of our database, we bring Exadata Cloud at customer. And lastly, a few things that I'm super excited by, which is very unique and differentiated with Oracle Cloud, giving you that com complete control, is the ability to build your own cloud. We bring all of our services, including the cybersecurity capabilities, as a dedicated region in your data center. And for customers and partners who are interested in actually even taking over the operations of our cloud, we have Oracle Alloy. With these plethora of choices, we give you complete infrastructure control, complete locality control, and operational control of the environment on where your data resides. And today, I'm excited to talk about new innovations that we're adding in our cybersecurity portfolio to protect you and your workloads. Let's dive into each one of these sections. First, from an identity perspective, Oracle has been a leader in the identity space for a while. We've added lots of new capabilities and integrations in our platform. But what I'm most excited by is the evolution of where we're headed with to passwordless. What does that mean? Today, passwords are a thing that you remember, and with pass keys, it's a thing that you are. So these standards in built into Oracle Cloud enables you to protect against phishing and many other type of attacks which can start becoming a thing of the past. And once again, Oracle's gonna do this first in our own cloud. And today, we're announcing a new OCI product that makes it easy for you to understand your access governance posture across all of your entitlements. For extremely large enterprises with thousands of customers, it is really, really hard to manage access control, understand what applications access where, and truly control that flow. Oracle Access Governance makes that easy, gives you a complete dashboard that enriches and, makes it, and gives you AI-driven analytics. You cannot encrypt enough. Oracle has always provided you a plethora of choices when it comes to encrypting data, starting from simpler management capabilities where Oracle Managed Encryption takes care of all of the data that you have on the cloud, to more set of choices around virtual vault and private walls. But today, we're announcing two new capabilities based on your feedback. First one is dedicated KMS, where you get complete control of the admin operations over the hardware security module that you can buy in the cloud. And so you can manage and monitor everything that's happening on that hardware security module. And second, the ability for you to bring the on-premise keys into our cloud and manage that completely through and through. And this is done with our partnership with Thales. Oracle is a leader in databases, but we're continuously raising the bar for database security. And with Oracle Database 23C, we're announcing the capability for SQL Firewall that helps you protect against SQL injection attacks and stolen database lock-on credentials. In addition, with DataSafe Everywhere, now we have support for DataSafe to manage databases no matter where they run. Could be running in another cloud, could be running on-premises, doesn't matter. DataSafe can actually watch and help protect your data from anywhere. And OCI Network Firewall is, is an interesting and a very popular product in OCI that we offer jointly with Palo Alto. It offers increased policy scale for enterprise-grade customers now. It has regional high availability, and it offers network throughput the scale of our virtual network. And to dive in, we, in the last year, we've added five new compliance programs for a total of 84 compliance and regulatory programs for all of the various kinds of workloads that you all run on Oracle Cloud today across 118 public services covering 23 countries. That's the plethora and the expansive nature of what Oracle Cloud offers today for you in terms of compliance. I talked about our sovereign, sovereignty and how we're meeting those needs. Oracle, over the summer, launched EU Sovereign Cloud it's a first of its kind that is designed and operated for EU's data privacy and regulations and so to meet their sovereignty needs by people in the EU. It meets the data residency standards with a logically and a physically separated architecture from our commercially cloud regions. 
And the good news is it has the same price and same all the set of services that we have in the EU sovereign cloud as well. One of the hardest security requirements to meet is meeting the requirements of top secret workloads, classified workloads. And OCI has built regions specifically to help the TSSCI and SAP missions for the US DOD and intelligence community. This drives tremendous amount of security needs into our products. And because Oracle Cloud has an everything everywhere approach with all of our services having a homogenous posture, those stringent security standards are met and are available completely air-gapped and isolated from the internet. So it's a disconnected region, which is also a choice in our dedicated region cloud customer. All of these choices and security postures fundamentally give you more control. Let's jump into uh, deeply integrated and talk a bit more about some of the innovations in this space. When I talk about deeply integrated, it means three things for me. One, Oracle is a complete cloud provider. What I mean by that is we offer a rich and a plethora of choices when it comes to infrastructure services, database services, platform as a service, and an, and an applications portfolio that can span your entire back office for any industry vertical. And there isn't a complete cloud provider that can offer that. So meeting and providing security for such an expansive portfolio is first an important thing for us. Second, we understand customers like you are in multiple clouds, and we need to offer deeply integrated products across multiple clouds. And third, we understand your current posture in terms of meeting your security controls involves leveraging technologies from many third-party partners. And we, want, we embrace the uh, partner ecosystem. We make their technology and their um, products available on our cloud and also deeply integrated into a portfolio so you don't have to have two journeys, a cloud migration journey and a security journey. So the first innovation that I want to talk about is um, the transformation of CloudGuard and where we're headed with the product. CloudGuard was a product that we introduced back in 2020 with a vision of two simple things. One is the notion of a maximum security zone, which fundamentally prescribes Oracle's best security standards where you cannot do security wrong. For example, you cannot create an object storage bucket as a public bucket. You cannot create a compute instance with a public IP address. So we enforced a stringent security standard that was one component of, of the product. The second part of it was the notion of a hundreds of out-of-the-box detections and rules that Oracle's best practices are in, in, incorporated in that is constantly watching your environment and one, telling you what is going wrong or what could potentially cause a security issue, and two, in many cases, also take a corrective action to immediately protect you without actually doing something more. And in 2022, we extended that capability to add more out-of-the-box threat detector capabilities to look at access governance, access policies, and many other models. We brought threat intelligence capabilities into CloudGuard. But today, I'm excited to talk a bit more about where CloudGuard is headed and how it is going to become a complete security central platform that truly transforms and protects your workloads. First is the idea of a log insights detector. When you think about cloud environments and you think about bringing workloads from on-premises, you're moving computers that have tremendous amount of security data that, that is being emitted constantly. We want to enable you to move all of those events and those logs into a system with high cardinality and then have CloudGuard as your central security place where you can write rules and detections against these custom events that are being ingested at extreme scale. Now this allows you to get a consolidated view of your workload across Oracle Cloud deployed in any, any region in a single dashboard. Second, we're moving to offer more integrated workload protection capabilities where we're gonna give you out-of-the-box detections for you to get MITRE attack aligned alerts and out-of-the-box rules to monitor suspicious behavior on your hosts. 
you can also interact with the system and ask intelligent questions in an ad hoc manner or with custom scheduled queries. It can also do this at the scale of the cloud. You can ask these questions for all of your instances in a single query. And once again, this is deeply integrated into CloudGuard to give you that single central experience so your SOC can actually manage your security posture easily. Moving on from workload protection, we're excited to announce today the ability to actually go do or offer cloud-native application protection. We're introducing a series of out-of-the-box recipes to help secure your container workloads. These are rules that are going to follow standard open source standards and brings Oracle's best practices into it. And they natively integrate with Oracle Kubernetes Engine. So if you look at the innovations and the journey that CloudGrid is actually taking, we're moving the product from a cloud security posture management platform to offering you workload protection, cloud native application protection, essentially a complete security platform that enables you to start looking at protecting your workloads in the cloud. Okay, the second innovation that I'm super excited about, which is a very hard problem, is the inventory problem. Anybody who's worked on security is very well aware of you can secure what you don't know, and it's been a constant struggle in trying to solve this really, really hard problem. Before I dive into what we're doing to solve it, I wanna tell you about the problem. One, because of the advent of the cloud, because of how fast customers can, you know, provision new resources or applications in the cloud, and how workloads are a lot more ephemeral with the introduction of the cloud, there's a lot of resources that are coming in and out of your environment that you need to provide security for. It's ever increasing. Second, because of the agile nature, because of DevOps being the new standard, these resources and their configurations are constantly changing and their relationships between each other are constantly changing. The moment you start collecting an inventory into a store, usually it extends to, oh, you know, the operational team now wants to access to the same database where the security team has access to. Now the analytics team or the business operations team ends up wanting, have, wanting to have access to the same data store because it tells them very rich information. What that naturally has led to is an explosion in the industry about an inventory store that doesn't actually solve the problem end to end for all the use cases. And we believe that is a better way. We're, in, we're announcing today an Oracle Cloud Infrastructure config platform that is a fully managed single tenanted service that aims at collecting all of your resources and provides insights in a single place. It is going to have three pillars for Oracle Cloud Infrastructure config. One is OCI config inventory, which is focused on solving the near real-time inventory problem. The goal of this part of the store is responsible for bringing the events as they're happening in the system as fast as possible. Second, it will have well-defined schemas for sources that exist in Oracle Cloud. It will give you an Oracle database SQL-like experience for you to interact with that data. It will come out of the box with the Oracle Analytics Cloud integration and out of the box dashboards and semantic models for you to play with. Second is OCI config analytics, which will take these semantic models and these dashboards and enable it for security purposes or for your business analytics purposes. Third, we're gonna introduce the notion of an OCI config lake. One of the hard problems about security and resource configurations is it is not just okay to understand the latest configuration of a resource, but understanding the configuration of that resource over time which IP address was this computer attached to two weeks ago when there was an issue, right? So you're asking these hard questions. And these are hard distributed system challenges at cloud scale. And we're attempting to solve that with a Spark SQL integration on a data lake that allows you to get your data scientists and your SecOps engineers to directly interact and ask these very fundamental hard questions. And lastly, we, we are going to make this platform extensible it is not just a platform that solves for OCI resources, but it allows you to emit events from your applications 
about your supply chain inventory, about your apps, what's the state of the apps, the microservices. You can directly integrate your events into the store. You can build your own semantic models and you can do rich dashboards on top of what OCI offers you. So now the, we're changing the inventory problem to go from something that's just config in a data store to config available for multiple use cases across three different platforms. And we believe this, this changes the game in terms of how security engineers can actually use this data. The third pillar that I talked about is changing how we bring the security ecosystem to you at Oracle Cloud. I'm very excited that a lot of security technology partners choose Oracle Cloud infrastructure for running their workloads. And there are many reasons for that. Some reasons include a great price performance strategy. Some reasons include Oracle's distributed cloud and its ability to reach all corners of the globe really fast. And so partners want to get their best tech out to their customers. And in many cases, they bring and integrate that technology directly into OCI. And so today, I'm very excited to welcome Jonathan Troll, CISO and Public Sector CDO of Qualys, to talk to you about their journey in Oracle Cloud. Thank you. Well, good morning. Um, I'm excited to be here and talk to you a little bit about our partnership and, and journey uh, with Oracle Cloud. So, uh, Qualys is a, a pioneer in uh, the security and compliance space. So we deliver a cloud-based solution uh, that helps companies identify risk and deal with risk. Um, we rely on Oracle services to provide our cloud solution, and we do that because of the trust and the security that's built into that platform. We're also uh, deeply a partner uh, in integrated into Oracle Cloud. Let me first tell you one of the biggest issues that we see when we deal with our customers across the globe. When we look at cloud deployments, we see continuous risk items that get our customers uh, and your customers into trouble. Risk fact number one, cloud misconfigurations continue to be the number one risk factor for cloud deployments and they're obviously highly targeted by attackers. Risk factor number two, traditional software vulnerabilities are not just an on-prem problem, they will follow your workloads into the cloud. Risk fact number three, weaponized vulnerabilities are the most critical items that you need to face and deal with because those are the ones that attackers exploit most frequently. Number four, Malware in your cloud, when it's underway, is an incident response emergency, just like it happens on-prem. Malware infections continuously happen in IaaS and PaaS workloads, and are typically the issue that customers face, especially related to ransomware attacks. Risk fact number five, you have to keep pace at the speed that the cloud moves. So when you're dealing with security issues, you need to think fast integration with your CI, CD pipeline and the ability to move at the pace that DevOps teams move. You can find out more, obviously, by a report that we published in terms of the key risk factors for cloud deployments. But what I want to talk about now is really our key integration with Oracle Cloud. Qualys is the only scanning solution that is integrated natively with OCI VSS. What does this give you as an opportunity? This means that you can leverage your existing investment in Qualys. You can bring that license into the Oracle Cloud. Qualys agents that are the main technology that finds vulnerabilities in your cloud workloads are automatically deployed by OCI. So you don't have to worry about having your teams ensuring that that is done manually. You also get to see the vulnerabilities both in VSS and within Qualys. So you have a consistent view both on your on-prem vulnerabilities and your cloud-based vulnerabilities within Oracle Cloud. And then you get to take advantage of what we call true risk capabilities. 
and I'm gonna talk a little bit more about that in the next slide. So what is true risk? Uh, so at the end of the day, as a CISO, as a board member, when you boil it down, my job is not to fix every issue. My core job is to reduce the risk of exploitation of my company and my data. And sometimes we get confused on that part. And so within Qualys, we have developed using AI and ML technology and our threat intelligence, prioritization of those vulnerabilities that are most likely to result in exploitation against your cloud or on-prem resources. This allows teams to prioritize what they need to fix, because I think as we all know, there aren't enough resources in most security teams to deal with all vulnerabilities and issues that they're facing. And to give you a real example of what this does for you uh, in the Oracle Cloud and in on-prem, I'll walk you through just the scenario of what this looks like. If you look over the last year, there were over 200,000 vulnerabilities that were issued and that security teams had to face and deal with. But not all of those represented risk to the exploitation of your company or risk to PII or confidential data. But if you start looking and we use the true risk calculation, we start to narrow down the number of vulnerabilities that are really critical for you to face. We take that number down from 206,000, for example, all the way to 23, based on those that we see are exploitable. We know that known attackers are using that uh, vulnerability immediately today, and that they're based on ransomware type of attacks. So you've taken the total universe down to just a handful of vulnerabilities that your teams need to prioritize. All of this is part of the true risk calculation, again, that you can leverage and use as part of our deep partnership with Oracle. So with that, I'd like to turn it back over to Mahesh. And again, thank you for uh, allowing me to participate. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. It was really great to hear the journey of Qualys, both as a customer and as a partner, and bringing you the best of their tech jointly with Oracle. So I'm super excited. Now let's dive into um, complete control. I already talked to you a lot about um, the control that we offer with the infrastructure, the plethora of choices in terms of how you can build or deploy in our cloud. Um, I talked about Oracle Alloy and how it gives you the ability to operate the cloud. So lots of choice on infrastructure. But what about the complete control on the data? There's still a lot of security challenges that still exist with data security. Just in 2023, we saw a surge in a huge surge in cyber attacks, just constantly growing new, new techniques, new tactics all the time. But why? And I personally believe that it has something to do with the siloed nature of the layers of protection that we're adding. Now, you know, while we have deeply integrated products, but still they all have different interfaces and language and how you need to talk to them, how you need to protect yourself. Right? There's security posture management, there's host-based controls, there is you know, vulnerability scanning, there's network security that talks a different language, there's identity access management that has a completely different policy standard and a method. Today's security, while available at every single level and every single layer, but it leaves gaps when it comes to truly securing data. And when those gaps can be exposed or are available, then you have these vulnerabilities where you're not able to meet your needs for data protection. At Oracle, we believe there is a better way, and we want to fundamentally revolutionize the way network and data security is done going forward. Before we dive into how we want to solve the problem, let's touch on what is the fundamental challenge. Today, if you look at network security, it fundamentally ignores the notion of what data it actually carries. Network security focuses a lot on the five tuple information that is available at the L4, in many cases L3, level to like take some decisions and enforce security. But why? Why can't the network do more? Why did the network actually choose? To, and for, to understand why those choices were made, you gotta go back to the invention of when the internet, internet protocols were designed. And a lot of the time, the internet protocols were designed to actually articulate that 
the enforcement of security should be offloaded to the application layer. Very good choice, there's nothing wrong with that. And network became more of a focus on, let's actually go figure out how to do plumbing. But if you fast forward and say, okay, that was a great approach to how we should think about network security, and you know, it was originally envisioned to like actually say we should have at this layer. But what actually ended up happening was the stack was very complex. Enforcement protection layers were done at all possible levels. What this does is it actually makes it really, really hard to reason and rationalize about the data and enforce data protection. And there's nothing wrong with it. This is a, you know, a lot of security, but very hard to control, very hard to manage when you're talking enterprise scale. And at Oracle, we want to change this. This is, we believe, the next generation of cloud security focused on network and data. We believe humans should be able to describe security intent. Why do policies have to have a certain standard that is very hard to grok, very hard to understand, very hard to test, especially at enterprise scale when you have thousands of policies? It's impossible to validate all of the use cases. Why can't you just say, I want to actually protect data saved in these databases and can only be accessed over a certain network? Why can't that be the world? Why can't the network understand, still encrypted data, understand that it carries data and enforces security policies? Why can't the security policy be provable and tell you and testable, showing you that those policies are actually being enforced on the data? Why can't the security policies be enduring, telling you that when my cloud, my environment, and my resources and my application is changing, my security policies are still true in that environment. These are statements that are not true today in the current generation of security, and we want to change that. And to talk to you a little bit more about that technology, I'm going to invite Danny Hill is on stage. Okay. So, we managed to get together a really interesting group of people who were a combination of security experts, people who had run IT systems for large enterprises, uh, network architects, and asked the question, if, if we look at the problems that Mahesh just described, how would we have designed the internet in the first place if we got to start all over again? And what we realize is there's a basic problem in the internet, which is this is the sort of classical IP stack. And the packets that flow through the internet are fundamentally anonymous. You don't actually know where they came from. They can have a return address on them, but somebody might have just made that up. And so an awful lot of the security problems we have really come from the fact that you have no idea where the packet came from. And so what we realized was that we could add a security layer into the internet stack that using modern identity management systems was actually aware of the authenticated identities of the sender and the receiver. And it was also aware of policy, so it could sort of issue a visa to the packet, allowing it to only travel if it explicitly had permission to do so. If you put this there, because everything goes through that IP layer, that really is a place to enforce policy for everything. Of course, this has to be an open standard. Um, and so um, we have created uh, something called the Zero Trust Packet Routing Standard. Um, and I encourage you to go look at it at, at um, this site. And what we will be doing is building an open source reference implementation that lets everybody sort of put this into their security stacks. It can go in hardware, it can go in software. There's lots of ways to do it. Um, and it will be available as an open free standard so everybody can adopt it. But the advantage of adopting it 
will be if you do that, you can basically state your security policies across all of your systems, across multiple clouds, as Larry was talking about yesterday, and enforce this uniform security policy across all your systems. Um, so I encourage you to um, participate in this and join up with it. But actually, if you are an Oracle customer, uh, you get to do more than that because um, Oracle has actually started putting this technology into the Oracle Cloud infrastructure. And so I'm going to hand it back to Mahesh to talk about that. Thank you, Danny. Once again, we're super excited about this technology and changing how we do network and data security. Please join us uh, at zipper.org. And I think I met a lot of you, uh, you know, over the last couple of days, and, and I was pleasantly surprised and excited about why you're excited about the technology. We are too. So talking a little bit more about what we're announcing today is the OCI Zero Trust Packet Routing Platform. This is going to enable you to fundamentally describe security policies that are intent-based. It is going to be enforced at the network layer. So there are three big ideas that we believe this technology offers. One, it fundamentally moves identity down to the network. It makes it easy for you to describe these security policies that humans can understand, audit, and verify. And these are security policies that are going to be enduring that ensures changes in your environment are constantly watched and it's protected in your network. This is interoperable and is complementary to all of the other security controls that you actually have today. It is not a piece of technology that will only operate in its silo, and that is one of the fundamental design points that we've been working with Danny on. And using this technology also, when we talk about interoperability, means that um, enabling this technology will have a couple of different modes. You can turn it on in uh, a, you know, a watch mode before you actually turn it on to like protect and prevent the traffic from flowing through. So there's a lot of exciting announcements in this product. Why don't we take a look at these capabilities in action through a demo? We're starting from a support agent portal where I should not have access to personally identifiable information or PII. But as you can see, I do. We need to fix this. To secure this data today, I would configure authentication, authorization, firewalls, security lists, data encryption, and a lot more. Oracle believes there is a better way. Humans should be able to describe security intent. Security should be enforced at the network layer and the network should only allow authenticated and authorized communications. This is what Zero Trust Packet Routing Platform, ZPR or Zipper, delivers. Let's take a closer look. Using the OCI console, let's create a Zipper policy to prevent unauthorized users and networks from accessing customer PII. Let's try to write policies that humans can understand easily using generative AI to help us get the syntax correct. Zipper distributes the policy throughout your network. Zipper enforces security intent of the policy at the network layer using attributes that contain strong assertions about the identity of the sender, receiver, and type of data. Meanwhile, it continuously watches system changes to ensure enforcement is in place. Let's go ahead and apply it. Flipping back to our application, now I can't see PII. That's good. Let's take a look at what is happening on the back end using our visualizer. This is a powerful tool to visualize data security posture, understand data flows, and confirm that my intent was enforced. When I attempted to access the customer PII, an alert fired that there was a violation to the data security policy and the request was blocked at the network layer. This was just a simplified data security, but it's only the tip of the iceberg. 
Hopefully that gave you a glimpse of what's possible with the new technology, and we're just getting started. So security at Oracle Cloud is simple and effortless to make it easy for you to protect at work, your workloads. It is deeply integrated across our IaaS, SaaS, and PaaS to make your journey easy into the cloud. It gives you complete control over your infrastructure operations and data protection. Come build with your most trusted cloud platform. Thank you.